Well, we're on the road again. Happy holidays, everybody. We are driving to Hereford Rowing Club for the weekend. To meet up with some friends because one of them is their birthday. Yes, you know the one that stood behind him laughing the day he fell in the canal, Matt. When I fell in the cud. Yeah, it's his birthday. So hopefully we can get Matt wet this weekend. Yeah. I think he needs to have a dunk in the river, doesn't he, for his birthday. I've got a, a little mod to do on the van, which I'll show you later on. Yes. Looking forward to that. Well, let's hope he does it right, eh? If you've seen what uh, he's put on Instagram, what he's going to be playing with. You can't whack being in the bus, people. You can't whack it. No, and the weather's beautiful in the daytime, but it gets a bit chilly at night. And there are going to be, I think, 13 of us, so... I don't think anybody's van's big enough to get us all in. Looks like going to the pub. Uh, let me think about that. No. There is a weather spoons. Is there? Yes. Within it's going to be an expensive weekend again, people. An expensive weekend. Well, it's costing us uh, 40, 48 pound. It's eight pound each per night. So it's 16 pound per night. No electric. No, no electric. No. Well, there is. There's showers and toilets. Is there? At the, at the rowing club. So yeah, that's what we're up to this weekend. We've got the dogs with us, got the fridge full. So, happy days. I've just put 500 pounds for diesel in again. Yeah, I spent 100 pound in Tesco. Bloody expensive hobby this is, you know. No, it's the alcohol that's expensive. The shopping bill was nice. Well, you've got to stop drinking though. No, I bought you two bottles of gin. So the answer to that, isn't it? Why? I don't Shut you so. up, isn't it? No, nothing shuts me up. Unbelievable. So yeah, we'll... Uh, Get on, well, we're on the road, we'll get there, get set up. And if you haven't been to Hereford Rowing Club, we'll show you around, because it is a very good place to go. Well, I bought her out for another romantic meal, people. Kentucky. This is another great benefit about being in a motorhome. You can just pull over, send your old bird to Kentucky and have a meal. Yeah, I thought we were going to go and sit in, but we've got nowhere to park. So we're like blocking a road off at the moment. Well, car parking spaces. Park. Mm. But a man's got to eat when a man's got to eat. Well, it saves me cooking later, so. Because you won't. Shocker! That's I'm, unbelievable, that is. I'm really happy with that. Can't beat Kentucky. So we'll get this down, us people, and crack on to Hereford. How much was it, anyway? £19. £19? Can you share mine? Unbelievable. Just having a bit of a debate. What's the best chip? Kentucky or McDonald's? I like McDonald's. I like Kentucky. I think Kentucky is a better chip than McDonald's. Every day. All day, every day. I say McDonald's. Nah, definitely Kentucky. This hasn't got as much taste as it used to have. This, but it's not as... Are you moaning about your romantic meal? Yeah, I really am. Unbelievable. I've got greasy fingers and I've got to try and turn the camera off now. I was just saying to my little princess here, we live on bloody takeaways, we do. I've just cooked you a lasagna. Last week we had Chinese one night and an Indian the next night, and now we're eating Kentucky. That's his choice, you no said. No wonder you're weight on. You said you were craving a Kentucky. I've just cooked you a lasagna before we came out. So it's here. Some, where is it? What? The lasagna. Oh, shit. Oh, I've left it in the truck. You're joking. No. That's going to be nice, isn't it? That's one meal. I've just cooked a lasagna from scratch and you've forgot it. I've left it in the foot. Well, I'm in my truck. Unbelievable, isn't it? That's your fault. <clears throat> Go back in, get it. Well, that's going to be no good now, is it? Come on, jump on your scooter and go and get it. Unbelievable, you are. Oh, well, people, another domestic. Why do I bother? Some of the beautiful scenery. I don't know if you can catch it through the trees. Absolutely beautiful out, out here. So, we are nearly here. Um, just going over the bridge. We've been here twice before, but we've, we've always come in on the opposite side. Yeah, just down there, look. They, they, you can't see it down there. Yeah, we always come in the opposite side for I some know. reason. The, again, the sat-nav has decided to take us on a magical mystery tour. 
Well, at least we had a nice romantic meal on the way. Oh, romantic? All right, then we had a meal. Yeah, and even okay. you didn't think much of it, did you? Bloody ungrateful little git. You've just said you didn't like it that much. Well, I've got to eat something, haven't I? Yeah, because you left the lasagna in the truck. No, that was a joint. No, Robert, fault. no, definitely not. You said, give it here, I'll. I'll and you always empty the truck, pass me everything in. No, no, no. Oh, here Don't we go again. People. Don't listen to her. This is the saga of the lost lasagna. Unbelievable. I bet I'll have it for me tea when we get back. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. That's well, what you can have. on it as well. Well, you won't know if I put them in or they've grown on it. So we're just following that motor home in. And hopefully tomorrow we'll have a nice walk into Hereford. I'm not spending no money. Well, oh, that's nothing new there, is it, Robert? So you whack the back end there, round here, people. And here it is, Greyfriars Avenue. And it doesn't look like you're going anywhere. First time I remember going here, and I thought, where on earth are we going to end up? I think the first time we came here was a camp creator. It was. It was. And I was very, very nervous. I don't know if any of you can remember. At the beginning of our YouTube days of meeting Arrive people. The on the right. Turn the sat-nav off. And we've got to find out where we've got to park because we've been saved a spot by our friends and we can't miss the van because it's the smallest van on the park. On the planet. Oh yeah, there is that. There we go, so we'll uh, get set up and take you a walk round. Uh, looks like the bloody grass one's cutty. That's nothing new here, is it? Well, we'll, well it we're, all, we're all set up, people, and uh, I've just got to wait for Lynn to finish a game before we can show you around the rowing club. How long are you going to be? As long as it takes. Unbelievable. Still waiting. No, I've got to finish my drink. Well, you're playing a silly, childish game. That you've been playing since we got here while I've done all the all the van. I don't want to talk about it. No, you wouldn't, would you? Well, I've been waiting now for ten minutes while trying to get oh, him motivated. Oh, bloody hell, you've moved. I, I've been... Unbelievable. No, I've been waiting you've moved. for you. Come I mean, on. look at you. That's it, finish your drink. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, people. It's been a long day with the old bird. Christmas will come quicker. I'm not looking forward to that either, bloody rip-off. You're in Benidorm? Oh yeah, looking forward to that. Bring it on, Benidorm! So we are parked there, which I'm happy about. Flat, well, flattish. Get out of there! No. I'm, what are you doing? I'm putting my chair by the table before I'm bagged it back in our spot by a table. Yeah, because it's our friend's uh, birthday, he's put this, uh, what is this, a tent? Pa party tent. Party tent up. Lights hanging there for some I mean, strange reason. I mean, who are these for? I don't know. Let's go and chuck them in the bin. <laughs> There's uh, Matt's van, the vanscaper. I've given him a little present, as you can see. Happy with that. There's a few, a few vans here. You've got a couple of taps over there. Basically, that's it. No, I think Lynn said you've got a shower and whatever. We're going to have a look in anyway. here. Yeah, so, where we parked up over there, you just walk out that gate there. And then you've got Hereford Rowing Club just there. Toilet and showers up there. And a cafe up there. And they do breakfast from 8 till 11. And then Elson Point just in there. Yeah, so you can sit outside there having your breakfast if you want to. Overlooking the river. There's also a couple of table, tables there you can sit on if you want to. And a cycle path which we're going to test out the scooters tomorrow on there. Yes. We we'll get cracking with the scooters down there. And apparently, if you follow that path, you can get all the way to Wales. Where you can go into the Wire Valley and then into Wales. How far do you think we'll go on the scooters tomorrow? As far as possible. Sounds like a plan. Now I don't think anybody's got a 599 or anything similar to the garage set up in this, but it's a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Because when you open this like that, it only opens up to that. I have bounced my head off there 120 times. Haven't I, Lynn? You have. I don't laugh. Cause massive problems to my brain. Because you have to have a brain to cause problems to it. Unbelievable. So what I've done, what I've done, the other side, 
Yeah, so what I've done with this side, I've took the struts off, which are in each side, and now that lifts right up there, look like that. So what I'm going to do... Oh no. I'm going to glue a oh magnet no. onto there with that, uh, what is it called? Cycliflex. Cycliflex. On there. So it catches on there, so that is completely out of my way when I'm trying to get the beast out. Oh no. You're going to actually put glue on my van? So I can't understand why they didn't do it like that in the first place, can you? Huh? I don't know. Totally unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, but yeah. I'll crack on, I'll get it done, not sorted. Yeah, we'll sort that tomorrow as well. Birthday to Matt you. Again. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God, come on people. Happy birthday dear Matt. Happy birthday to you. Vanscaper. <laughs> well, this is the tame version of the Retrobates, especially <laughs> that one. <laughs> so these are the magnets I've bought people. Uh, I think they're about £29, so not cheap. But <sighs> very powerful. Maybe too powerful, to be honest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glue around there and hopefully stick it to the side of the van. Hopefully it will work. Because this stuff, I don't know to be honest, but this stuff's supposed to be amazing. So I'm going to try it out. This is about 12 quid to be honest. Everything's bloody expensive in it. So I'm going to stick them on and see what happens. So as you can see, I've stuck that one on. It seems to be sticking uh, well to be honest, which surprised me. I didn't think it would, but so far, so good. Well, in all there you go. Them. So uh, you have to excuse the noise behind me because I won't shut up, but there you go. Uh, I've stuck that one on there, that one on there, and that's going to make my life so much easier. So, Sikaflex recommended, perfect. So, while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I thought I'd come and walk down to the river because a friend of ours has got one of those paddle boards and he's going to try and stand up on it. Harder than it looks, so we'll see how he gets on. I'm looking forward to this. Eddie, Eddie, how are you feeling? All right. You're gonna do this? Yeah. Come on then, mate. He's Come on. He's feeling a bit wobbly, mate. It's dead easy, to be honest. Put some effort into it, lad. Come on, get up. First attempt. No, he's give up. He's bottled it. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Second attempt. <laughs> oh. Come on, it's easy. Shut your face. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh. Oh. Please fall in, please fall in, please fall in. Please fall in, chuck right. something at him. Oh. <laughs> well done, mate. Come on, Eddie, I'll give you a hand in. <laughs> I know what you'll do. Give, give me a stick. No. <laughs> you reach for me, Rob. Come here. Huh? <laughs> Come on, drift a bit closer. Come on. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I've got to put the camera. I'm happy with that, Eddie. Happy. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is now Sunday morning. 
We didn't do a lot yesterday, did we? No, because my little angel isn't very well. No. I'm okay. But you'll be okay, because you got me. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> got the doctors. Yeah, so we're going to have a, just a little walk around uh, Hereford, see what it's all about. Yeah. Happy with that? I'm very happy. Well, we've just come into the town and the first place we've seen is the orange tree, a pub. And it's got black country ales. There you go, happy with it. And there you have the stunning cathedral of Hereford. So unfortunately we can't go into the cathedral today um, as they're holding a service. And it, here in the grounds, it's called Lady of Arbour or Lady Arbour, where people are laying tributes, floral tributes to our Queen. How good's that? Happy with that? Very happy. Nice with that. to see. It is. There you go. Perfect. Absolutely stunning building. So we're just walking through the one of the streets here, uh, just past the Green Dragon Hotel, and it's lovely to see the flag flying at half mast in honour of our Queen. There you go. Great to see. Absolutely spoiled today, aren't you? Not really. Here you are. I you mean, really are. Greg's. Watch yeah. your head. It's all cost a tenner. <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, it's unbelievable. We'll get some nice uh, steaks off that, wouldn't we? really, being as it's cast bronze. Oh, shut up, you know what I mean. And it was sculptured and casted by Brian Alabaster Arbs. Was it? Yeah, apparently. It's written down here on the floor. <laughs> yes, it really is a cracking place to spend a couple of days. Hereford. Brilliant. So what do you think of uh, Hereford, my little angel? Absolutely wonderful place to, to visit. Definitely come back here. Yep. Even though this is the third time we've been here, this is the first time we've actually walked around. Yes, so we'd highly recommend you to come to Herefordshire. Yes, Hereford. And now he wants to go back because the shop's open at half past ten. And it is twenty past. So yeah, we've got to go. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. I don't like spending money, people. It's all right. I'll go out on my own in the week. So on that note, we hope you've enjoyed our vlog. So stay safe for the caravan as motor owners tend to drift subscribes old and new. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. In a bit.